Hey everyone. Hey you guys. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I'm going to go ahead and roll the intro. Um, honestly, I'm not going to lie. I do feel weird rolling the intro for any videos related to Marvon because my intro is about reality TV. Um, but I also... I only roll intros really to give YouTube time to send out notifications for people coming in. If um, if like a commercial plays in the beginning, it gives them time to kind of go through that process while I roll the intro. Um, so that's why I do it. But I do feel kind of weird rolling this intro about like reality TV when it comes to Marvon because his case is much, much, much more serious. But we are going to roll the intro just to give YouTube time to do the things to send out notifications and everything for more people can come in. So let's go ahead and roll that intro. And we'll get right into it. Okay, you guys, let's go ahead and let's get started. Um, so I've, I, I kind of contemplated even doing this, but I really want to set the record straight about um, some things. Okay. So, as you guys know, 10 days ago, Veda went live with Molly. Um, they talked to Mr. Marvon Sr. And he talked about how they talked to a medical examiner, a coroner, and um, the VA hospital and everything. And several people confirmed for him that Marvon McCray, Marvon Jr., had, in fact, passed away on May 7th. Um, now, after that, let's see, six days ago, Veda went live again, and they played a recording where Veda was actually talking to a coroner, and this coroner was very cautious with his words. He said, you know, I can't tell you if he was cremated or buried. What I can tell you is that he's no longer here. If you want any other information, like, yes, he was here. But he's not here. If you want any any other information, you have to speak to his wife, Andrea McCray. And he even was like, uh, Veda asked, like, well, have you reached out to Marvon's parents, like his mom and dad? And the man, uh, either Frank or Michael, I don't remember which one was which. Um, he said, yes, I've spoke, I've spoken to Marvon Senior several times. Um, there was this confusion over if his body was claimed and all this and that. I was never confused over whether or not his body was claimed because I never heard anybody say that it wasn't. Um, either way, 10 days ago was when the news broke that, you know, his dad said, listen, we've talked to several people. They've confirmed it. And they told us that he passed away on May 7th. Now, the first thing that I did whenever I saw this was I went to her Facebook account. I was like, hold up. What? Hold on. You know, she goes live. She came back in February. So I'm like, let's see if she went live around the time that this happened. And one thing that I noticed is um, Dre did not do any live streams. She did not go live on Facebook. She quit going live on Facebook at the very end of April and did not come back until the end of May. Right? So um, for anyone that's wondering where you can see the video about Marvon Sr., I'm going to show you guys, and then I will post the link. That way you guys can see it as well. So this is Veda Jade's channel right here. Okay, so this is the video right here. Marvon McCray passes away. His family speaks. Molly, go lightly. Oh, you guys can't see that. All right, so it's right here. Marvon's family speaks. And that's the one where they make the announcement that he passed away, right? And that's where they have Marvon's dad on saying, talk to the coroner. And I, th what he first says is he calls the VA because um, Marv Marvon Vaughn is a veteran. Um, so they say, you know, we call the VA. The VA contacted the hospital that he was at. And the hospital confirmed it, gave us some numbers to call. And it was through that process they learned that he passed away. Here is the video where um, they play an audio from the coroner. We can listen real quick. Uh, I talked to the coroner today again. 
Like I've been talking to him all week. And I've been on the phone like 24 seven trying to find out what happened to my son, where his body at and all that day. And nobody didn't give me no answer. They gave me he's, the to put me in a circle. So, he hasn't been cremated yet. So this is where Marmon is speaking. Let's listen to that, the recording real quick. Let's see if we can find that. I should have pulled this up. And listen, I'm not going to say that I agree with, you know, everything that happened in this situation. Um, I, here, I'm going to be honest with you guys. My nephew passed away and it was YouTube drama. Um, it, you know, it, people were making videos regarding it. And my nephew was two and a half years old. Um, if somebody would have called like the funeral home to verify whether or not my nephew passed away. I, to me, that would, would feel like an invasion of my real life. So I'm not going to say that I agree with everything, but there was a call made and, and I'll play it for you guys. Um, it's already out there. It's been played. Uh, Mr. Senior, Marvon Senior, he knows about this. From my understanding, Veda did say, um, Veda did say that, you know, she got permission to record and all of that. So I don't know. Um, Queen Destiny, I'm going to get to that. Someone was asking about the other videos. So really quickly, I'm going to go over that. And then we'll get to why I'm doing this live right here. I'm going to have to mute out a name. I can't yeah. hear her. With you, so you said that he was disposed of, meaning that y'all don't have any. Who am I speaking with? Right. This Frank. is Frank. Frank. I thought you said your name was yeah. Mike. No, Michael is, yeah, Michael's the other employee here. I manage the facility here, but I can leave a message for you if you want to talk to Mike. His answers will probably be the same. No, I, I just want to speak with you. So you said that he was disposed of, meaning that y'all don't have him in your your crematory anymore. No. I don't, see, I didn't say he was cremated. No, but so you said y'all don't, don't have that, him anymore. Yeah, correct. No. That is correct. And we've spoken to the medical examiner's office, so um, that's why I was calling you. So that doesn't mean he's been yeah. cremated. That just means that y'all no longer have him. That's correct. Okay. Um, do you know if there will be... So he says right there, they don't have him anymore. So he's been claimed. like, And he says later, it's been completed. An autopsy done. I don't. You don't know that? Okay. Has I do he, not. Has anyone claimed his body? I've been speaking with Andrew, his wife, yes. So he don't want to say, well, yeah, his body was claimed, but he says, well, I've been speaking with his wife, Andrea, yes. And he also says he's not here. They've completed their process. Okay. So have you spoken with his dad and his mom? I've spoken with a father a number of times, but as I've mentioned to him, Marvon as well, he has no legal right to any of the information. I have to handle it all through his wife. But it's been a, over a month since she even come forth with my uh, well, well, we're still working with her, and it's been it's been completed. So, so he says, see, it's been completed. So, um. I did hear that. Um, I did hear that another creator called and there's no Micro Frank. But you know what I just noticed? She's, I think when she said your name is Frank, right? I think he thought she was saying Mike instead of Frank. You know what I'm saying? I think he thought, because it didn't make no sense. She's like, this is Frank, right? And he goes, no, I'm the manager. But if you want to speak to Mike, I can get him. And she's like, no, I'll stick with you. Um, let's continue. But it's clear that he's saying, we had him here. We completed what we were supposed to do. He's no longer here. We've spoken to Andrea. There's no reason for us to contact any other family members because his wife is tending to everything. 
Um, we've spoken to the dad because the dad called us. They spoke to the medical examiner and the coroner. So they've actually spoken to VA, hospital, coroner, and medical examiner. Oh, I don't I don't know where else I go from here accepting. If you want to call and speak with Andrea directly, you're welcome to. Okay. I relate the message again. Oh, oh, you're talking about the other people. Okay. So the other people called the medical examiner. At, I did hear that as well. Thank you, Raven, for bringing that up. So I did hear that the other people called the medical examiner asking for a microframe and was told there's no microframe that works here. But there, the mic is at the coroner's office. So they called the wrong place. Okay. Okay, so that's the call. Um, right, yeah, exactly. I don't either, I don't either. So let, this is where it was like, you know, it's confirmed. I mean, listen, if the, the fact that this man who works at a, a, a crematory knows Andrea is saying, I've spoken to Andrea. Our process with her husband is over. I mean, unless that was a whole fake situation and they got a friend to do that whole bit and it's just for whatever reason. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I doubt that. I'm sure they, I doubt they would go that far. Um, either way, I did not report that he passed. But I did go live and say, this is what's being said. I know better than to say that he passed away until I can get some like solid confirmation. You know, like I need like a death certificate, uh, an obituary or something to pop up because I went down that route before and it's not fun. If you have the wrong information and you are wrong about something like that, it's hard to come back from that. And for some people you can't. So I'm like, listen, I know, you know, Marvon Sr. is saying that he talked to people and they confirmed it for him. And I will take that for what they're saying it is. You know, I'm not calling him a liar at all. I'm just saying I want to wait and let more stuff happen. Well, then I received this. Um, I received this message. On. Okay, I received this message. It is a screen recording. I received it on the eight. I received it on the eighteenth, as you guys can see up there. Received June eighteenth at eight oh five p.m. I think it says or nine oh five p.m. It's a screen recording that lasts a minute and twenty four seconds, and it says, "Please watch the screen recording." Vaughn is alive and well. He is talking, walking, eating, playing with his kids, and has a clean bill of health. He came home in March. Dre has him in many of our videos now. I was utterly confused. Um, I was completely confused, okay, because Vaughn had an injury that you really can't come back from 100%. I mean, he was without oxygen for what they are assuming is about 30 minutes. Um, I think, so, what is it called? An anoxic brain injury? Is that what it's called? I mean, even if this, even if by some miracle that he made it, um, he would not come back with a clean bill of health. I'm going to show you guys the video that, okay. So this was the, the message that I got. And I'm like, what? Came home in March. I'm like, well, she returned to social media in February, but I've been keeping up with her Facebook. Like, especially since it came out that he possibly passed, I have went through her Facebook with a fine tooth comb. And I've not seen him in any new videos. I have seen her post older videos. So I responded to the person and I said, like, are you sure you're not confused? Like, um, you know, I think the videos that you are seeing that she is posting is older videos. Like, there's just no way that he could be home with a clean bill of health. You know, like, I... That, that, that doesn't make sense to me. So I did watch the little clip that I was sent. And one thing that I noticed right off the bat is it was in their old house. And, um, in, uh, freaking, uh, where is it? In Yuma. It was in their old house in Yuma. Now the title of this video is I'm home. Immediately I noticed, wait, this is Yuma. And she has a house in Tucson now. 
Um, and I don't even think they go back to Yuma to their old house. Like, so but right off the bat, this was weird to me. So I'm like, so let's watch the video because the title is I'm home. And as I watched it, I was even more confused because it talks about coming home from the hospital, how his arm has like poke spots all over it from, you know, being poked and prodded and a blood clot and all of this. And I was like, wait, what is going on here? Like, there's no way that he has gotten out of the hospital, that he is alive and well, and they went back to their old house and did some videos, but now come back. It just doesn't make sense. Let's watch some of this video really quickly. Okay, I'm looking crazy because I just got home. Um, we took this uh, long drive back, but I'm going to update you on everything. <sighs> Whenever you guys come in, I feel like it has been so long since I've seen you, but it was only like, I don't think I went live yesterday, but I was live the day prior. I have so much to update you on. But I am home and Mr. McCray is here as well. So it's, he's out at a hospital. And I'll tell you guys how that went, but I'm going to wait for some more people to come on. Anyways, also, um, we go make some soup. We're going to make some dressing. I already made some mushrooms. Um, the best part of coming home was having a fridge full of food. Like, oh my gosh, it makes me so happy. Hi, Olivia. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Amy. Ow! It's just the steam is coming out right here, and I put my arm over. It's just really hot. Yes, Paula. Hi, Rose. Yes, Gina. Hi, Shadow. Hi, Kristen. Hello. Okay, so really quick, before we get into story time, let me show you what I did, okay? Mira, mira, mira. Okay, so this is organic. Okay, I'm so glad you guys are saying this because that's what I, I was like, hold up. You know, at first, when I first watched it, I was like, well, this is weird, talking about coming home from the hospital. Some of the things that he says, I'm like, but hold up. He's been in the hospital before. They have not been back to their house, from my understanding. I mean, she goes live every other day. So how I was actually mind blown once I really figured it out that this is absolutely an old video. And this was not even posted by her. This was posted by someone named Jacob White. Look, Jacob White it was posted four months ago. And Jacob does say in the comments that it is an old video. I hope he is awake and doing great. And Jacob says, I don't think he is, but I would hope so too. Uh, I'm so upset. I honestly thought Vaughn was home from the hospital from the shed incident. So, so sad. Sorry, that's why I put old video in the description. So yeah, I did realize that Jacob White is, you know, some type of supporter of Dre or Vaughn, and he does. So here's his content, Jacob White, growing cherry tomato supporters. Uh, so he posts her supporter videos, from my understanding. Uh, yeah, so he posts, you know, videos that we can't see. But this really, I was like, hold up. I'm very confused because how could anybody, I don't want anybody, and listen, for somebody to be like, why would you post a video saying that he's alive? What if his family sees it? Listen, his family knows what the deal is. They know. They, they've spoken to people that's confirmed this. The reason I did this video is for the people, like the very person that messaged me, for the people that may see this video that may actually think that this man is home and alive and doing well. When I saw the message, I was like, there is no way anyone could really think. And I, this is, I don't want to say anything nasty towards this girl that, that sent me this. And I, I'm not, I'm not. I get why she thought that. Like, you know, if you're not really putting some factors at play here, like the house where they're in the old house, Dre looks a lot thinner. 
Um, there's several things that right off the bat didn't make sense to me, but I guess for somebody maybe that doesn't pay as much attention, um, maybe you could see why maybe you would think that. Yeah, he did. So he said, um, that he put old video in the description box, but I didn't see that anywhere. No, I'm not talking about my description. I'm talking about his. I was reading a comment. That's why his comment says that, right? Because someone was asking him. Wait, where's where's the comments again? How did I just do that? Where's the comments for this? I was reading his comments. Hold on. And someone said, oh, my God, I thought he was, like, alive and well from the shed incident. And they said, no, I'm sorry. That's why I put this is the old video on my description. That's what the person said. Um, what was his name again? What was his name? Jacob White. Which I probably do need to put old video. Translate my Ron is alive after video services showing him back home talking about a hospital stay. Um, oh, I I would have to change it up. I can't add I can't add any more characters in my thumbnail. Um, all right, where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Let's go back to history because I actually do want to play some of this because it's actually like mind boggling. I was on the other channel. Hold on, guys. Anybody out there that does see these old videos, though, you do have to understand there's no... He, even if he would have come home at some point, he never would have been himself. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to we're gonna play the part, y'all. When I watched this, my heart broke. My heart broke watching this video of Marvon talking about it. You know, um, I'm just saying, even if, yeah, I'm not going to confirm or deny anything just because until an obituary comes out, a death certificate, or Dre herself says it just because, you know, one time there was that death hoax. I think he passed away. Yes, I do think that he passed away. Just because her social media kind of, um, her social media kind of correlates like a timeline. But I am just being cautious. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to play from right here. Of his eye, of his torso. Like they did all kinds of tests. And of course, everything is just like normal. Um, the doctor who was there on Monday, the neurologist was not the same neurologist who was treating him when Vaughn first got there. And I really liked that neurologist, but this guy was just like, well, you're just going to have to follow up with your doctor because that was basically, you know, they did all the tests that they could and that was that. So, but it was just insane. Like yesterday was insane i felt like i couldn't catch a breath all the way to all the way to like bedtime but it just also felt like you know god was holding my hand the whole entire time because it was just like how can this many things just keep going wrong you know like it was just like i was laughing then i was crying and i was like what the fluff and then it's like <laughs> It's like, am I in the twilight zone? Like, am I the common denominator? Like, am I the problem? Like, how is it that everything, like, you know, you just start squinting that stuff. Hi, Ida. Okay, hold on. Let me try this out. Let's see if it tastes good. Oh. Liquid smoke. Bella, did you try the mushrooms? I agree, Queen. I think the parents should know. I think they did. I just didn't. I would want to know. Because it just tastes weird. 
Yeah. Hi, Shelby. Oh, hi, Shanavia. So, yeah, um, yeah, it was just, I don't know. So, we're going to follow up with another neurologist and see what's up with that. Yeah. Hi, Sharon. I'm home. But it was a mess. Like, yesterday it was crazy. Crazy. But we got back home and everything looked good and fine and dandy. Oh, Bella, I thought you were Her. Oh no. <laughs> Bond's gonna come in the picture in a minute. You know, I have a theory of why she might not update people. Let me go on to that and see what it says. Mommy, it's good. So they haven't been in this house like streaming and live like since Vaughn, the situation happened. Like that day, it happened. The ambulance left with him. She called her mom. She packed a bag and she left. She came back shortly and like gathered her her like things and left again. I don't think she's even streamed from this house since the situation took place. So like for someone to think, like literally, this lady was like. She's posting videos of him. How do you not know? And I'm like, they're old, you know? Like, what? Like, if you just follow her on Facebook, you, you would know. I don't know. Something's weird about it. Can I take another one? She's active on, on social media again. Um, Go ahead. Raza, do you want a mushroom bunny? Michelle Razo, 33 month subscriber anniversary. Do you guys see that on Michelle's? Stop. I'll be right. Okay, Rose. Thank you, Marianne. It feels so good to be home. I want to be naked. I want to be naked. Well, thank you, Amanda. Thank you so much. I can do it. No, I can finally use chopsticks. It's not the correct you like one, it? but it works. Oh. So. Oh my god. Okay. Um, so was... we're gonna skip it a little bit for Vaughn to come into the picture because he's gonna talk about his stay at the hospital, which I think is what got this one lady confused, you know. Um and I was like, from my understanding, the house that they lived in in Yuma, they own that house. So I guess she's bought a new house in Tucson. I think her mom lives not that far away. She goes to church there or to the um What's it called? It's not called the church. I don't think they really call it church. What do they call it? Temple? No, not temple. Either way, she's made like a little family in Tucson. Um, and she, I, even though she got bad reports, like in March or April, Kingdom Hall. Yeah, Kingdom Hall. Even though it was like March or April, she talked about the fact that they told her that he was septic and that they didn't think that he was going to make it. Um, she still planned like he was coming home. She was setting his room up. She got him a hospital bed. She got a generator in case they lost power. She got a van. She was doing all these things, even though like the prognosis was not good. Maybe, maybe so, Sherry. I'm not, maybe so. Um, even though she was literally preparing for him to go to come home. So she was setting that house up like he would come home and they would live there. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if she had any plans on going back to the house in Yuma. The same thing. I don't remember. Oh, Sharon, thank you. Hi, Sharika. I'm happy you're home. I know, Michelle. Just being in my home. Like, I was gone for five days. Like, that's a long time. Thank you, Samantha. Thank you, Amber. I need to watch her. Jessica. Yeah, they're, you're, they are Jehovah's Witnesses. How have you been? Yes. 
Oh my gosh. And we have all these avocados. We should have put them in the fridge. Only one of them is really bad. Okay. I hope that I can. Okay. I have a lot of avocados I got to use because. Ooh, you can make that stuff that you put on the salad. What? That, um, that, that mix with the avocados that you, that you, uh, you, you, you make the, uh, oh my gosh, salad. That's so on. gross. Um, the red toolbox, I don't know the exact date, but it is on her Facebook. She did a live on her Facebook, like showing it off. And that was the beginning of March or very, very late February. I'm at more than likely the beginning of March is when it happened. It's how they dress There's a mortgage on the house. I thought it was paid off. Uh, I I put avocados in almost every. But if you think of a certain flavor, it's not But I I yeah. I just remember it was mainly avocados. Y'all, I'm telling you. They were good as ever. <laughs> Hi, Vaughn. So glad you're doing better. Hey, what's up, y'all? No, this is hi Michelle. Me. Hi Ashley. Ashley, how are you doing? Y'all look at this. How's your hospital stay, baby? Hmm? How was your hospital stay? Miserable. Like I, I, I couldn't do it. I'm so glad we got out of that when we did. I'm so glad she came and 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 start correcting stuff because I was know. laying down the law. Let me tell you. Oh my goodness. I was. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was, it was miserable. And that that bed they got, that I, I don't know, I don't know what's the purpose of having the legs go down even more. But I don't know. It was weird. Alana. It, it was awful. Yes, I heard Alana. Yeah. Not to mention I, that went viral. Sorry, go ahead. Not to mention the fact that I got so many puncture puncture wounds on my arms and in my hands. Oh no, I'm burning it. Okay. But yeah, I couldn't, I, but the, for me staying there so many days without being able to get up with nobody with, with, without help and all of that stuff like that, that, that's what really got me. Cause I'm a very active person. And sitting in bed all day long is just, it, it's not good. Yeah. And they were going to do, like, there was so, like, I'm going to have to really sit down with you guys and, like, tell you guys everything that they were doing, everything that they were, were requesting. And, like, for me, I ask hella questions. I want to know all the ins and outs. Let me know, you know, like, I just... So whenever I'm gone and I can't do that and I can't be his voice, it gets, it gets, what um, is that? it's the washer. Oh. It's, it sounds like it's gonna, is it gonna say UB? Yeah. Damn it. I got it. What does UB mean? Just take out the blanket because it means it's just too heavy. I didn't. I only put it in halfway, but I should have known that dang washer is so sensitive with weight. Oh, hey, mommy. I have to take the weight thing off of it. No, it's because it's too. It's too. It just take out the blanket. Um, there's towels in there, and there's only one blanket. Nobody. Uh, yeah. Mm. 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 Oh, I love you, Jessica. Thank you. Good. So, yeah. So, um, it's really hard to hear his voice. And let me tell you, um, she's 5'7". I think she's 5'7". 
Um, I'm talking about my daughter. Somebody asked how tall my daughter was. So she's like five seven. So the reason that I was actually shocked when I got this message saying like, he's alive and well, clean bill of health. They're doing videos, you know, like, let, let's go look at her Facebook really quickly. Because if you follow her Facebook, you will see any videos that she has of on. It's pictures, but they're older. They're older videos from her, like, way before. Um, I've still heard her mention Dr. Savy. Like, I've watched several of her lives, and I've heard her mention Dr. Savy twice. And I'm like, ain't that, the, like, the cuckoo doctor? Is it like, I don't know for sure. Um, so, 11 hours ago. And don't waste your time explaining anything. Protect, protect your peace, period. So, this is her Facebook account. So, people that have kept up with the story even a little bit, um, if you come across these old videos and they're in the old house, you will never see Marvon in the new house. I, there is not a video out there that exists of Marvon McCray in their new house in Tucson. If you see that, if you see him in the new house, then let somebody know. You know, then that's, that's a reason to be like, whoa, what's going on here? Marvon is in the new house. Then I could understand thinking that. Um, any videos that you see of them in the old house, it's old, you know. Um, so the video, the, the message that I got where, you know, it was like, he's fine. I was just like, hold up, hold up. Like, what do you, what do you mean he's fine? Like there, Marvon hadn't, I mean, God himself would have had to come down and lay hands on Marvon for him to come back and have a clean bill of health. That's like impossible. Could he have possibly come back a little bit from this, possibly with a miracle, but a clean bill of health, walking, talking, having fun with his kids, that just wasn't in the cards for him without a, like, for sure miracle. You know what I'm saying? So for anybody that believes that because they see this old footage, know that you are watching old footage. That is, unfortunately. I mean, I wish it was different. I really do. So don't waste your time explaining anything. Protect your peace, period. That was 11 hours ago. Anybody who easily believes lies about you without hearing your side of the story was already looking for a way to be, get, to be against you. 20 hours ago, ago, solitude is like oxygen for me. It is a must. I love connecting with people, but I love reconnecting with myself even more. Getting back in flow with my own rhythm, my true and authentic self without anyone else's energy influencing me. It's never personal. It is self-care. Um, Dre is a witness. Andrea is a witness. Uh, or she was. She was at one point. Costco haul. I think it makes the fourth time shopping at Costco. I recently got a membership. Um, Costco haul again. Once again, nothing for Vaughn, you know, if he was alive. Tears are the proof that emotions become physical. Imagine what stuck emotions can do to your body when they have spent years without being released or properly transmuted. What part of your body constantly aches? Are you in pain? Your body talks to you. Listen. So here she um, has a tablecloth that someone got her. Here she got a rug for her dining room. How social media works. And this is so true. I prefer mangoes to oranges. So basically what you're saying is you hate oranges. You also failed to mention pineapples, bananas, bananas, and grapefruits. Educate yourself. I'm literally shaking. <laughs> that is so true, though. That is, so, that is so true. This is her puppy. Makeup. Oh, you know. I can use, if I could use something else, then sure. If there was like a... I don't know. <clears throat> see, and then the bare minerals, it's a whole, it's cleaner makeup, I guess, which I, I just don't see it being like. And this video, okay, um, this was an early morning video. Uh, she was getting ready at like 830, uh, but she did not say she was going to the hospital. She just said she had somewhere to go. Normally, she'd be like, I'm going to the hospital to see mine. And here they are with their chicken. I've never in my life seen a chicken wear a vest and be walked. I ran. 
Is her daughter walking the chicken or is the chicken running the daughter? Yes. Yeah, I did see that one. You better walk into that room like God sent you in there. Yeah, Dre has, I was going to say, Dre has grain weight because I'm trying to, I'm reading your name, Granny, on the web at the same time as I'm saying gain weight. Uh, fall in love with taking care of yourself. Fall in love with the path of deep healing. Fall in love with becoming the best version of yourself, but with patience, with compassion and respect for your own journey. No, another thing is there's no post about hashtag heal Vaughn. None of that. That's what she was hashtagging. I know, not cool. Chicken looks like it's getting the F out of, I know it, right? The more dangerous the neighborhood, the better the tacos. Um, Costco. I think, oh, Home Goods. Her mom's there. Mom's tortillas are the best. Um, what is this one? My dog, whenever I come home, smelling like another dog. Welcome home, cheater. Uh, this is a cooking video. No one. The spatula stopping me from closing the drawer. This is Sprouts Hall. The doggy. Uh, portobello mushrooms. Booty Friday making guac. It's a small habits, how you spend your mornings, how you talk to yourself, what you read, what you watch, who you share your energy with, who has access to you, and that will change your life. Mongo hang out with Raza. Mongo, mango. I've literally started saying mongo because that's how she says it. Um, in this video, Raza did want to talk about something and Dre did stop him. Um, and she said, hold it. She said, no, 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 no. And she whispered and said, you wanted to talk about that? And he said, yeah. And she said, let's tell him something else. I don't know. I don't know if he was going to say anything about his dad. I'm not sure. Um, Sheen unboxing. Morning smoothie. I'm happy I restocked my mangoes. World, 100%. I've actually covered three other topics today. Um, this will be the last one. We're going to do a hangout tomorrow, guys, um, because it's already midnight. It's already 11 p.m. here. Um, and me and Sean, we're getting up early in the morning and going for a jog. So I know, it, man, y'all, and I know we all handle grief differently. And Vaughn has been in the hospital for almost a year. So maybe she has had time to process this at time. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe even though on the internet she's been extremely positive about the outcome and on and online she's refused to even talk about the possibility of him passing but maybe in her mind she's reconciled it a little bit like maybe in her mind she's not in denial so maybe that's why she's not going crazy i mean with me I, you know Um, another haul. This is where they went on a little field trip to Mount Lemon. Her and her mom cooking again. Booty Friday. Um, pictures with her and her dog. Raza. This is a little. She pees on herself, which I, I do too whenever I jump too much. Can't jump on the trampoline with my kids very long because sweet boy Raza. Um, this is a little video her and Raza did. And okay, here's a little TikTok she did, and she says it's been a very long day. This earth. It has been a very long day. I'm gonna take a bath and use some of these herbs. I'm going to make a tea. Once it's done steeping, I'm going to put the tea in the bathtub and it'll absorb through my skin. Our skin is the largest organ in our body. So baths, foot baths are such a great way to get your herbs in. First, we're gonna add some blue vervain. It has been... Okay, so she says it's been a very long day and she needs a relaxing bath and everything. This date is June 7th. Um. So that would be the one month anniversary. 
which could explain why she seems a little stressed here. You know, it's been a very long day. I mean, that would be the day. That would be the one month of his anniversary, his passing. So maybe. Um, uh, June 7th again, talking about cooking. June 7th, they're alkaline vegan tamales. I'm sorry, but they don't look good. I come from a place known for their tamales, and the vegan tamales don't look good to me. But her daughter is beautiful. Another uh, June 6th video. Uh, June 6th. June 6th. June 6th. Look how much she's posting, though, right? Which, this is her moneymaker. I don't blame her. Post as much as you got to. She's taken several uh breaks from social media so she's got to post like she needs to post uh june 5th she's doing a tiktok about one little piece of hair that won't go down cooking june 5th you're going to be fine you always are yes i will be but please allow me a moment to express and display my sadness and discomfort i know it will get better but i but i need to also be honest and say my spirit is temporarily heavy and not to and not have to hide that so there you know a little meme about her um spirit being heavy June 4th, Laura is not healthy though. So she posted a bunch of memes, but um, we're pointing out how she did take a break. So Vaughn allegedly passed on May 7th. She took a break. She posts on a regular, 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 sometimes four or five times a day between TikToks, just regular posts, and then even videos. But she did take a break around the time that he allegedly passed. You know, um, her and her kids took a beautiful trip to get some natural healing not long after he passed. Booty Friday. Let's, okay, so I'm trying to go back. I want to look at a few things and then we'll just kind of chit chat before we close it out. We're going to look at, look at a couple of things and then we'll chit chat before we close it out. Let's see where we're at. All right, May 29th. I have a couple of theories, and this is just theories. This, you know, um, this could be, okay. So I've seen theories of people saying, you know, her supporters know that she's accruing a hospital bill, that she's preparing for him to come home by buying multiple things. So maybe as long as they believe that he's alive, they will continue to, donate to her they will you know her supporter group will continue to increase um people are you know watching hoping for an update you know so things like that that financially it may benefit her for people to think um you know for people to think that he's still alive another thing that i've seen people talk about is do you guys remember the investigation and how when the investigation wrapped and it, you know, nobody was found to be at fault. But do you guys remember, um, they said if Marvon was to pass away, they may revisit this and they may open this back up. You guys remember that? That's true, though. That's true. Here's the thing. It could be a mess. It could cause a mess because what's going to happen? Video after video after video after video. If she comes out, says that he passes, video after video after video after video. Maybe she didn't want that. That could be one reason. I've seen other theories. So I'm just going through some theories. That was going to be one that I was going to talk about. Um, but I've seen several. So, you know, maybe she could make more money. If people think that he's alive, then watching, waiting on an update, then thinking, oh, she's got all these bills with his medical bills and la, 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 la. She's buying a van and la, 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 la. So I'm going to help out. And then um, the possibility of an investigation reopening. Once he passed, maybe she's just kind of keeping quiet, you know, until if it did reopen, until it's closed again, or um, maybe just to keep from craziness happening. She literally made a video the other day saying the attention is bringing her money, good or bad. She's happy to have followers and money coming in. And she needs the money. You know, I mean, this is her job. She has children. Like her or hate her. And I disagree with a lot of things. That she, here's the thing. I see both sides of it. I really do. Um, 
there's things when it comes to drag that I completely disagree with, but there's also other things that I understand. Um, it's just a very hard situation. I couldn't even imagine if I was in a, a similar situation. Because, you know, say she contemplated telling the parents, but then she would have to be concerned with, well, if I tell them, are they going to go on social media and go live with creators and talk about the fact that he passed and, and you know, talk crap about me again? Like, I don't know. It's just, you know, I really wish they could have band together as a family and been there for each other because that would have been the best thing for all of them if they could have relied on each other and been there for each other. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this kid's got to eat, you know. Let's see. All right. So we're on April 11th. Let's see. We're going to go back just a little bit further because um, I do want to point out some things and then we're going to kind of call it. I've heard those ear candles are dangerous. Has anybody else heard that? They do the ear candles here with her daughter. I've heard that can be dangerous. Okay, so like this video, like if somebody saw this, they might think that this is new. They might think that this is a new video, um, but this is an old video. If you read it, it says one year ago today, but even the video that the person sent me, literally, they're in the old house. Nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could tell if you really paid attention to it that it was an old video. All right, let's see. Is this the video where she showed the tool shed? No. All right, so she returned the end of February. I'm checking. Oh, I got to catch up. When people say, bye, see you later. I can actually check to see if people are still in the chat. It's pretty funny. All right, let's continue. Yeah, Sherry, I do think he passed. It's my personal opinion that he did pass. Yeah. All right, let's see. We're getting close. Um. I've heard they can be dangerous because the wax can drip and burn you. Um, I don't remember the other reason I, I heard they were dangerous. But that's one of the reasons I heard that they were dangerous. Okay, is this it? I think this is it. February 17th, I think, maybe. She returned in February. My computer's being slow. Oh, dear. Hey, girl. Hey. The wax can damage eardrum if hot wax gets to the ear canal. <laughs> like, that hurt? All right. Come on. Wow. My computer is literally just, like, boo-booing out right now. I'm ready to toss my computer out. Me and you both, Appalachian, me and you both, because I wanted to show you guys some things, but I've been on my computer like all day working. It's 
not even working anymore. It's my karma. Ooh. You see, that's what I thought too. Um, so that's what I thought too, that it would be against HIPAA, but once you're, once someone's deceased, HIPAA is no longer at play. So a, a, a deceased person does not have HIPAA rights, I guess you could say. You know what I'm saying? The good night at LBH, just heads up the ME, and let me finish reading that. The ME and the coroner's office are the same in Tucson. It seems like somebody told me that. I actually had an email from a follower, and I actually said that on here, that I heard that if you need a medical examiner, you have to go to, um, it's in Phoenix. That the nearest one maybe is in Phoenix, I think is what I was told. There's so much craziness, you know, you can just never tell what. This computer is a very expensive one. Um, my monitors are Samsung monitors, but my, no, my, wait. But my computer is alien software. It's alien. I don't know. I just know we bought it. And my, um, we bought it from my brother-in-law and it's like a really good one, allegedly. Okay. I'm getting out of Dre's Facebook page because I'm completely like, it's like booted out. I do not edit from my computer, Haunting Haley. Um, I go live on YouTube on my computer and like earlier I went live and, um, it was muted, so I did edit that out through my computer. But if I screen record, if I record videos, I record them on my phone and I edit on my phone because um, I I don't deal with software well on a computer. And they have Veda, Jay, wait, what? And they have Veda talking. This is so funny. They're telling what they want. I'm so confused. I'm confused, the mask angel. Someone did message me saying that, um, that there is no medical examiner there. It's very confusing. It's so confusing because I'm like, okay, let me find my notes really quickly because I wrote it down like verbatim what was said. Like what Marvon said, senior. And one thing that I did realize is I think we got confused on the mic and the frame. I don't think they was even saying there was a mic. No, I mean, there wasn't a Frank. Let, I'm going to listen to that again. I think the man mistakenly thought. I think the man. Um, what about. Because she called, she said it was a crematory. She was like, is his body still at your crematory? So would a medical examiner be at a crematory? Who would be at a crematory? That's a funeral home, right? That's where you cremate someone, and that would be at a funeral home. That's right. Okay, I'm going to play this back real quick. Because I kept, like, hold on, why is she saying Mike, Frank? And he's like, no. Let's listen to this really quickly because I got confused throughout it as well. All right. Um, okay. Let's all right. Uh, I'm going to play this for you. Uh, I'm going to have to mute out a name. I can't what? hear. I was trying to take off my camera for a second so I could take a bite and then I. I was like, well, what's wrong with my camera? And then I realized I'm on your camera. Okay, so All right. Um, let me find it here. Okay. Um, so do y'all have an obituary? 
شما همش فکر می‌کنید Frank. Frank. I thought she said your name was yeah. Frank. Okay, he says this is Frank. Okay, he says this is Frank. No, Michael is, yeah, Michael's the other employee here. I manage the facility. He says no, Mike is the other employee here. I manage it. Would you like to speak to Mike? So yeah, there, here, right, there was a Mike and a Frank. Thank you. leave a message for you if you want to talk to Mike. His answers will probably be the same. No, I, I just want to speak with you. So you said that he was disposed of, meaning that y'all don't have him in your your crematory anymore. No, I don't need to. I didn't say he was cremated. No. So I feel like whatever this call is, it has to be like the funeral home. Like what they're playing right there must be the funeral home. Because if I was like the medical examiner and somebody was like, y'all got him in your crematory, I would be like, I don't, I'm not at a crematory. I do know I heard Justin say, or no, I heard Marvon Sr. say that they talked, they called the, he says we called the VA. They contacted the hospital that he was at. The hospital said he passed. They then called a coroner. But he didn't say which corner. He didn't say whether or not. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. that It's so confusing. Is this? Not, I literally wrote down notes to try to keep up with it and still was so confused. Because, yeah, why would a funeral be doing an autopsy? <laughs> Maybe she was just inquiring, like, was one done? I don't know. It's so confusing. So, no, I'm just saying, yeah. Correct. No. That is correct. And we've spoken to the medical examiner's office. So, um, okay, there she says, and we've spoken to the medical examiner's office too. That's why I'm calling you. The reason we're here today is I'm backing it up is to tell you that Vaughn Marvon has passed. He did pass at the Banner University Hospital on May 7th. Um, I am going to play a recording for you. Uh, where we talk to the coroner. Man, that just makes me like, uh, ah. That just literally makes me, ah. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, the thing that we have the answer now that we know Vaughn is no longer here. The question that we can't answer, and only Dre can answer this, is why hasn't she told the people who have been praying for Vaughn? Uh, this is six weeks. Six weeks Vaughn has... been deceased um go ahead veda talk about all of that hold up so there was another part at some point where he does say he says we called medical examiner coroner marvon senior says hospital the va hospital coroner but he doesn't say which coroner but that's in the first video that they say all that which was where I got confused as well because I literally wrote it in my notes. Let me to try to figure out where he was saying he called who. I remember it was the VA. The VA called the hospital where he was. Hospital confirmed to the VA that he passed. Marvon Senior says, I then called the coroner. The coroner said he didn't know him. He didn't have him. I then called someone else, which was a medical examiner. I think that's what it was. There was a lot of just like, I'm like, wait, who was the first one you called? Who was the first um, corner that you called? Oh, we were lost on, before I, I streamed, Marissa had called me and she had said, you know, he has passed away. And then I spoke to the family and they said the same. And I'm going to trust what they say. And either way, Justin had done a three-way call with them and verified so. But, you know, just being a reporter myself, not really, I'm not a reporter, just, you know, someone just trying to verify. 
um, we contacted and we confirmed it with a medical examiner. We um, confirmed it with the coroner. We uh, contacted the police department. We contacted, uh, what was the last place? Medical oh, a place examiner. about the death certificate. Yep. Medical examiner, coroner, nurse. Um, what else? Coroner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and so we decided to uh, ask the man if it was okay if yeah, so i will say i believe that he passed i do believe that he passed and i'm not doubting that um her facebook kind of goes along with her the, the way that she took that break um i don't remember the reason why i was playing this we continue listening we uh recorded just uh, that way we could prove it and verify that we've done all we can to make sure that we're dead set on this. And he was fine with that. And so we did so. All right. Um, all right. Uh, I'm going to play this for you. Uh, I'm going to have to mute out a name. I can't yeah. hear her. I was trying to take off my camera for a second so I could take a bite. And then I, I was like, well, what's wrong with my camera? And then I realized I'm on your camera. All right. Um, let me find it here. Okay. Um, so do y'all have an obituary? Who am I speaking with? Yeah. This is Frank. Frank. I thought you said your name was yeah. Mike. No, Michael is, yeah, Michael's the other employee here. I manage the facility here, but I can leave a message for you if you want to talk to Mike. His answers will probably be the same. No, I, I just want to speak with you. So you said that he was disposed of, meaning that y'all don't have him in your your crematory anymore no i don't yeah, i didn't say he was cremated no but so you said y'all don't have know that, him yeah anymore. correct no. that is correct and we've spoken to the medical examiner's office so um that's why i was calling you so that doesn't mean he's been yeah. cremated that just means that y'all no longer have him that's correct okay um do you know if there will be an autopsy done I don't. You don't know that? Okay. Has I do he, not. Has anyone claimed his body? I've been speaking with Andrew, his wife, yes. Okay. That's a wild question to ask if anybody claimed his body. Because the way, you know, like Dre or not, but the way she was always at the hospital and doing everything to prepare for him. I don't think she would just leave him there if he passed. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So have you spoken with his dad and his mom? I've spoken with his father a number of times. But as I mentioned to him, Marvon as well, he has no legal right to any of the information. I have to handle it all through his wife. But it's been um, over a month since she even come forth. You know, the, the fact that it's been over a month, since he passed and his parents have not been made aware is neither here nor there for that guy. Like if I was that guy, I would just be thinking like, what does this have to do with me? Like we did our part. We've talked to the, we've talked to his wife who is the only person that we're legally that we really should be talking to. We did talk to the dad. We kind of verified that, you know, he passed. We can't give any other, any other information out. We told the dad to contact his wife. Like, that's just, to me, that's not something that you would even bring up to this guy um, over whether or not um, she, it's been a month and whether or not she's told him, you know, it's kind of, I don't know. Yeah. Well, that's me. well, we're still working with her and it's been, it's been completed. So I don't, I don't know where else I go from here, excepting if you want to call and speak with Andrea directly, you're welcome to. Okay. Well. I relate the message. Okay. 
So we're going to go through this. I'm going to play it again, and we're going to go through all of it um, kind of one by one so we can they can understand it. Make sure. Right. Right. That's so uh, the man's name is Frank at the that's the medical exam. Your name is the, Frank. No, Michael is, yeah, Michael's the other employee here. I manage the facility here. But. We spoke with Michael, we spoke with Frank, and I think a gentleman named Travis. I can leave a message for you if you want to talk to Mike. His answers will probably be the same. No, I, I just want to speak with you. So you said that he was disposed of, meaning that y'all don't have him in your, your crematory anymore. No. I guess the crematory would be like, because a crematory is at a funeral home, from my understanding. It is around here, and I know things are different. Um, would a funeral home coroner medical examiner call a widow by her face, first name or refer to her as Miss McCray? What? Well, well, I mean, in that case, I think it just depends. Like, we're, I know ours, we know them, so they call us. I mean, he calls me net net, you know what I'm saying? Um, but considering that he probably doesn't know her, he's probably been working for her for the past few weeks. But I would say more than likely they would normally call you Miss McCray, you know, um, unless she said, call me Andrea. Then maybe he would get into the habit of, I don't know. I just feel like, you know, I don't know, like some of I'm not going to lie. Like, I was all invested in this, and I still am, but I personally feel like it's gotten to a part of uncomfortableness. You know what I'm saying? Like, listening to this call, um, like, I feel like his dad calling whoever, I don't know. It's just gotten to a part of uncomfortableness and feeling like it's um, too much like his parents doing all of that i completely get it like if i was his parents i'd call anybody anybody everybody i call neighbors i might would show up at the house if i was the parents and be like listen i nothing physical i'm not coming here to jump you I, please tell me you know what i'm saying if they really wanted to know that bad for me myself i know i i i, I, I would do whatever to find out um but like anybody else i don't know like just putting myself in that position no no i don't think so um Like I said, uh, for you guys that's been around here a while and know me, when my nephew passed away, content was made out of it. And it was just a very, for my sister, for me, it was difficult. For my sister, it was horrendous. You know, um, it was horrible uh, to get on YouTube and see content about your nephew. But and, but I want to be clear, my nephew was not a uh, uh, an influencer. My nephew was not. A social media person. I mean, you guys knew him from time to time from my sister coming on my streams. And I had him in a couple of my videos. Um, or he would be asleep in the room with me. And because of his medical condition, he would breathe really loudly and he would snore and stuff, or he would make these noises like he was snoring. So you got I talked a lot about him. Um yes, Tanya, they did. Yes. Um, maybe I need to change fans believe that Marvana is alive after I need to take something out so I can put old video services showing him back home. I need it because a lot of people's coming in like, wait, is he like, I thought, you know, so I need to, this is literally, if there's one out there that saw this old video and thought, oh, he's alive. He's alive and well, clean bill of health. I'm going to venture to say there's more than one. That's why. And I, I, this happened like weeks ago that I got this message weeks ago. Um, when was this message? Well, it was June 18th. It was June 18th. And even then I was like, should I do a video? Like, 
pointing out that this is old content, that this is not new, that he's not at home with a good bill of health. I don't know what video you're talking about, Sarah. Um, I, I've not seen that video, so I can't comment on it. Do you think a video the good you made telling Leticia off is okay? I have not seen that. Um, I, I will say I feel for his mom. Um, I feel like Miss Leticia did, you know, what do we do if we go to a restaurant and they serve us food that's not that great? We go to Facebook and we, we, we go to leave them a bad review and then we go to Facebook and we tell our friends, don't eat that restaurant. I had a hair in my chicken parmesan. You know what I'm saying? Um, we go to social media and complain. Um, what his parents knew was that she was on social media, that she had a following. Um, they were not getting the answers that they wanted. So I think they thought, oh, if we take the social media and we build up a little bit of a following and they're pressuring her to let us see him, then maybe she'll listen to them. Maybe if we can somehow um, make a little noise, then Dre will let us see our son. I don't think they had any idea there is a bad side to the internet. There are crazy people on the internet. There are people that will show up at your house, that will call your kid's school, that will call your job, that will like follow your police department, that will have you swatted. There are, it's crazy, you know? It's really crazy. I don't think for a second that Letitia knew what she was getting into. Um, I think she felt an obligation to certain people because certain people helped her in a lot of ways. So I think she felt like she was obligated to, and maybe she was even scared to stop talking to them. Uh, from my understanding, I think she did stop talking to them and she really kind of, you know, um, retreated. But I think for a while she did feel, um, I think she felt obligated because certain creators helped her out a lot. Um, I mean, I do know there was this one time where there was something that came out where Miss Letitia was frustrated about like certain creators going live so much with no new content, just going live just to go live. Um, and I do remember that being like a, a topic where she was getting bothered about that. Um, and I understand that it got to a point where I was like, I'm not going to go live unless something else comes up, you know, because it feels kind of exploitive at this point to go live just to talk about it. And I know a lot of people did want to talk about it. I know a lot of people still wanted to watch her older videos and wanted to comment on it. But it was getting to where like there were so many creators going live like every day almost and money coming in, coming into those creators, coming into those creators. and coming in to be sent to Letitia and all of that. Not to me. There was not money coming into me to be sent to Miss Letitia. I did like two or three live streams. I don't know. I'm not going to say two or three, but I did like a few live streams and there was not money coming into me like that at all. Um, yeah. So I think it just got to be a lot. I think Miss Letitia came in maybe with good intentions, thinking if we could put a little pressure on her, this is what she does. She has a Facebook following. Maybe if we build up a Facebook account called Justice for Vaughn and people speaking out, maybe she will decide to keep us up to date and let us know what's happening. I don't think anybody could have guessed what was going to happen. You know, I will say, though, I think it was that particular video, the I'm home video. I think it was that video. I did watch the whole video. Um, it's an hour and eight minutes long. At some point in that video, she's talking about getting a, um, what's the thing that they got? The RV. She's talking about getting an RV. And she says, oh, I know the first place we, where we would go if we got an RV. And she says, Savannah, Georgia, to see Vaughn's family. I don't know how long ago, I don't know how long this was before the unaliving attempt or do you even call it an attempt now? Because, you know, but I do know, and I think it was this video where she said, if we get an RV and we're talking about it, if we do, I know the first place that we're going to go is to Savannah, Georgia to see his family. 
So at, at least at that point, they were getting along, you know. So I don't know. It sucks. All the way around, it sucks for everybody. Um, and everybody has been hurt at this point, you know. It just sucks. Um, I get certain aspects from each person, you know. Um, it honestly sucks that they were ever in that point. In 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 another video that I saw, um, it was when she was heavier set. Vaughn said, I think my family likes Dre more than they like me, but I think he was referencing his grandmother and stuff. I don't think he was talking about Leticia. Um but he, he, I've seen several videos where he's talked about, you know, his family. At some points, I think it was Letitia. Uh, well, at some points, I think it was his grandma that, you know, the one that had custody of him. And then at other points, I know it was like his mom and dad. Also on their Facebook account, like on Letitia's Facebook and Marvon's Facebook, you would see where they were, you know, he would call her mom, Miss Letitia. And she would come in and be like, I love you, son. He'd be like, I love you too, ma. You know, so I know there were times they had bad uh a bad um uh, situation going on between them but there were also times where they were doing okay thank you Haley thank you so much I was looking like uh XXX Tentacion this morning y'all I ain't even gonna lie so I I took a shower washed my hair and I braided it into three parts on each side um so literally like this part, you know, this part. And in the middle, I had three braids on each side. And uh, I was like, I literally look like XXX Tentacion. No, 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 not XXX Tentacion. Um, uh, the, the other guy, the snitch, the, the guy that's called the snitch. What's his name? 6 9 X69. Six, X69. Six, I don't know how you say it. X six, I don't know. I literally look like I ain't gonna lie though. With my braids, they were braids to curl my hair. I was not like, I was not. Um, what you call it? Takashi. Takashi. Yes, him. Is that how you say it? Is that even how you say it? That's literally who I look. I was literally. Sean walked in. And I said, "Do I literally look like?" Which I said XXX Tentacion. Now I don't even know if I'm saying his name right. XXX Tentacion. Um, and Sean just kind of looked at me crazy. I look like this guy this morning with my hair braided. Let me show you guys. Shout out to my mod, you guys. I've had people come in tonight not really understanding while I'm doing this video and they're like, why are you doing this? Thank you for the mods for explaining it. Thank you for the people that are not the mods that are just like my regulars. They kind of explained it. And to the people that came in and they're like, why are you doing this? Once you got your explanation and you're like, oh, okay. Thank you for like, oh, okay. I get it. It's weird. I literally, in my last video over on Fatal Files, I was like, I don't even know if I should do this, but I'm concerned because like people's obviously thinking like this old videos, these old footage, that he's alive. And then I was like, you know what? I started to get into it on that video, but it was about Brian Kohlberger. It was on my other channel. So I was like, you know what? No, let's go do it. Let's talk about it over there. Let's put this to rest. These are old videos. Marvon is never going to be home with a clean bill of health. That is just not going to happen. You know, Jesus, like I said, Jesus himself had to come, come down and lay his hand upon him and heal him. And as much as I think everybody in this chat would love for that to happen, I just don't, it's not, unfortunately, that's just not what's going to happen. He went through too much. His body has went through too much. And I personally do feel like he has passed away. I'm not confirming that. I, I'm not going to confirm that until Dre herself does or a death certificate pops up just because. And that's not any disrespect to Mr. Marvin Sr. Um, I do think that he did. But as a creator who fell for the hoax and got so much crap for it, I mean, I guess rightfully so. When I, you know, the honestly, the freaking article, when I looked back at it, I was like, wow, yeah, that doesn't really look real. Um, I should have known better. So that's what it is. I love you guys. Thank you all for hanging out with me tonight. Um, if you got see anybody, 
saying anything about him being alive and him being in videos, please let them know Marvon has not appeared in any videos. I keep up with her Facebook page every morning almost. I just go to check it just to see if she's made any announcement. Um, and she hasn't, you know. So, yes, I did. I apologize. And I'm still sorry. I'm still sorry, you know, because that was, that's a horrible thing to get wrong. I remember that time I saw um, on like Google or something that Clay Walker died and my heart sunk. And I don't even know him in real life. I was like, oh, Clay Walker passed? And it was a hoax. It was a hoax. You know, I wouldn't want to do that to anybody that, like, really saw that and followed him from our story or even, like, maybe one of his family members saw it. Like, which I will tell you before we put that out there, like, before the article came out, before I went live and talked about it, his family was already hearing that. I'd already heard it. I'd already heard it for, like, three, three days or so that he had passed. And then the article came out. You know, um, so uh, his, his, uh, Miss Wynette had already heard that. I um, mean, they were just trying to get confirmation. And then the article came out. I, either way, I love you guys. I think we'll do a hangout tomorrow since it's already late. Um, tomorrow over on Fatal Files with AL, we will go over the order that the judge signed to allow cameras in the courtroom. I did get the correct order. I haven't read it yet. Um, I think we're going to do that tomorrow over on Fatal Files. Fatal Files. I love you guys. Give this video a that's not true. Yes, Plant Lady. I hate that channel. That channel needs to be shut down. If anybody wants to complain about scammers and fraudsters and liars, they I need to start exposing this channel. All they do is report that people died and it's fake. It's the same, it's this channel. And they're like, five minutes ago, deceased celebrities. This is it. And never is it real. You guys, I don't like to tell people to report people. But this is horrible. Look at this. It's with regrets we send you condolences. Send condolences to Jean-Claude Van Damme. This was four weeks ago. He's still alive. American fans burst into tears after hearing the sad. So Angelina Jolie passed away four weeks ago, apparently. Richard Gere. Um, Sophia Loren. I don't know who that is. Goldie, ha Goldie Hawn. Janet Jackson took her last breath today. John Cassidy. Um, Brandon Frazier, Keith Richards, nope, at Keith Richards' tragic funeral, yeah, Rod Stewart, Tina Turner, is that before Tina Turner passed? Did Tina Turner recently pass? Some of these might be real. I think Tina Turner did pass. Was it Tina Turner that passed recently? Tommy Chong, that's wild, because I just seen a post from Tommy Chong. And so look at the pictures they use for some of the um. Um, Keanu Reeves, he's still alive. Chris Christopherson, I think he's still alive. Um, I don't remember this guy's name. Dick Van Dyke, uh, Melody Thomas Scott, um, Terry Bradshaw, still alive. Trisha Yearwood, still alive. Tom Cruise is still alive. Sylvester Stallone is still alive. George Strait, look at this. George Strait. George Strait, still alive. Todd Chrisley's family, his daughter Savannah has been. So Savannah, Savannah died. Tommy Cal died. These are all fake, like literally, except one every once in a while. And look at the views 23,000, 14,000. Country singer, I don't know his name. Um, John Travolta, Denzel Washington, Susan Sarandon, Willie Nelson, Alan Jackson. Look how fake the edit is. They just stuck his head on there. Um, 
Dwayne Chapman. I literally just saw a post on Twitter from him, too. Angelina Jolie, Dionne Warwick. I think she's still alive. Uh, Tyrese Gibson, still alive. Whoopi Goldberg, still alive. Helen Hunt, still alive. Kenny Chesney, still alive. Uh, this is the second one that she's posted about Celine Dion. She's literally posted two about Celine Dion. Um, oh, what's his name? What's his name? He's like a real life like badass. What's his name? I don't remember. Dolly Parton. No, I mean uh, Blake Shelton. Uh, Goldie Hawn. Her husband. Goldie Hawn's husband died. I don't remember his name. Barry Gibb. Clint Eastwood. Randy Travis. He's still alive. Uh, Christy McNichol. Arnold. Arnold. I will be back. Because he never left. Kate Winslet. Christina Applegate. And that's sad because she's really got health issues. Charlie Sheen. Oh my God. Look at this one. It says Charlie Sheen just out of HIV. And it's a lie. Like, what? Sherry? Yeah, they reported that your hubby died. Like, really? Garth, Garth Brooks and Trisha Yearwood both passed away in the past month. Toby Keith. Travis Trent. Wow, look at his thumbnail. Look at Travis Trent's thumbnail. All the thumbnails are horrendous. Like, Look at, like, the thumbnails are horrible. Look at Rob Lowe, his thumbnail. The thumbnails are horrible. Look at Helen Hunt's thumbnail. They literally just like take, look at Urkel's thumbnail. This is all within the past month. This creator has posted like 40 videos of people dying. So even if this person only gets 2,000 views on it, or 1,000 or 5,000, they're posting 40 a month. 60, I don't know, something ridiculous. Kate Winslet, Christina Applegate. Look at Travis Trent. Look at his look at his thumbnail. Look at Ron Howard's thumbnail. Jackie Chan is crying over the sudden death of Chris Tucker. Like, how does this channel get away with this? So uh who is this? Shania Twain, Jamie Lee Curtis, Morgan Freeman. Dolly, wow, Dolly was just with Blake Shelton when he passed, but she passed weeks prior. How was Dolly at Blake Shelton's bedside when she already passed away? What the heck? This creator just doesn't even care. Kelly Clarkson. I'm telling you, some of them pass away. Look, Sylvester Stallone, he's died again. Tom Cruise died again. How does this happen? Like, I don't understand how this channel, wait. Did she pass again? Some of them has died twice. That's wild. Wow, look at Winona's. Why is Winona wearing a head wrap? Brooke Shields. This channel should literally be 
Drew Barrymore, they got her head all cockeyed, looking back. Yeah. Simon Cowell passed away again. There's John Travolta again. Janet Jackson again. She, she passed away a second time again. Yep. This is just ridiculous. These are the channels that need to be banned. Somebody's making money off, like, legit lies. And literally, like, the one about K.L. Laurie's son, I clicked on it when I said, I was like, what? And the comments were like, oh, my God, that's so sad. Like, people believe this. They believe it. It's really sad. Anyways, you guys let me your thoughts in the comment section below. I got to go to bed. Me and Sean's got to get up early. We're going jogging. Leave this video a thought. Leave your thoughts in the comment section of this video. Give it a thumbs up because it does help with the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, everyone.